Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, where all of my guests either agree with me completely or they go boom. I am your host, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon me. And with me now is a popular Christian evangelist at Sharia's Corner. She is Hatoon Tosh. Hatoon, so nice of you to join me. Hello, Mr. Muhammad. I have pictures of you, but it is really, really very nice to see you in person. Pictures are haram! But look how cute you are in these pictures. We should put these pictures all over the studio. I'm about to put you all over the studio. Why don't you like these beautiful pictures of you? Listen, if you're going to make pictures of me, at least have it look like me. No, I like these ones. Since you are here, Mr. Muhammad, I was wondering if you can help me to understand the whole in the narrative. Peace be upon me, I can't help you. You can't help me to understand the whole in the narrative? No, I don't know what the word narrative means. Then let me help you. Sheikh Yasukadi says, there are holes in the Muslim narrative about the Quran. The standard Muslim narrative is that there is only one Quran and that there are no difference between any of two Qurans. This is the story that even Sheikh Yasir Qadi used to tell people. Roll the clip. So the Caliph Uthman standardized the copies of the Quran and therefore from his time up until our time there has never been two copies of the Quran that are different even in one letter or one word. The Quran is the most protected of all scriptures and in fact we as Muslims believe that God in his divine wisdom and plan has protected the Quran from any type of alteration. Wait, how did you make a video clip appear? That's amazing! But it's also amazing that after 1400 years, there's only one Quran. See, I knew that human memory was the perfect way to preserve a long book. Alhamdulillah. Such hikmah. Not so fast. So, Sheikh Yasir Qadi would tell people that every Quran is exactly the same. But when he was speaking to the students of knowledge, those Muslims who are going to become scholars, he would tell them something different. Roll the clip. And when we say the various different ways to recite the Quran, we are not talking about different voices or different styles. In other words, if you were to compare two printed Qurans, you are going to see differences between them. Not just a voice or not just a, 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 a speaking style, but also changes in letters and, and, and words and uh, harakat. How are you doing this? Are you some sort of witch? It is the power of internet. So, for many years, Sheikh Yasir Qadi was lying. Soon Muslims find out that he didn't really believe what he was saying. So Muhammad Hijab, the part-time stripper, asked him to explain what he really believes about Quran. But Sheikh Yasir Qadi didn't want to answer. Roll the clip. And it's very clear to you and to every single very advanced student and specialist that the standard narrative has holes in it. And I don't think it is wise to bring it up in public because it should not be said in public. I don't even want to be explicit. It should never be brought up in public. This is not something you discuss amongst the masses, ya akhi. It's not wise. Leave it at that, ya akhi. So according to Sheikh Yasir Qadi, Quran is like Swiss cheese. Can you explain the holes in the narrative for me? Maybe it's because the great God Allah revealed the Quran in a bunch of different ways. But even in the Quran, Allah says that Quran was shredded. Can you read Surah 15 verse 90 to 91 for us? Why are you asking me to read when, as everyone knows, I can't read? Then I'll help you again. In Surah 15, verse 90 to 91, Allah says, We sent down on the dividers those who made the Quran into shreds. Why didn't Allah protect the Quran from all the people who were shredding it? That's an interesting question. Maybe the great God Allah wanted to abrogate certain verses by having people shred the Quran. Like I say, shit. Hey, give you. my crumb back. Oh, 
So sad that you've lost your Quran. Fortunately, I have a brand new one. So, what would you like to know? It's okay. David Wood made another one for me. And he says he can make as many Qurans as I need. Wait, why is there a hole shaped like an upside down infidel Mickey Mouse? Because Akbar in Hebrew means mouse. So, when you say Allah Akbar, you are saying Allah is a mouse. And why are all these other holes here? Because of the holes in the narrative. So are you going to help me to understand why Quran is like Swiss cheese? No, but I can turn you into Swiss cheese. Hello! Hey, that's rude. Is that what Christianity teaches? To disrespect other religions? No wonder my followers keep hitting you and spitting on you and stabbing you and punching you and making fun of you and threatening to rape and murder you and stealing your Qurans. Allah is a mouse!